Hey guys, what's up? Dave is like here for Lion Climber Productions, and here is another quick tutorial. This one is going to be covering how to do muzzle flashes in Adobe After Effects. Now, this is all Adobe After Effects. There's nothing new. It's just uh, pretty much creating a light yellow colored mask and just uh, giving it some cool uh, textures and options just to make it look really cool. So, uh, pretty much what we're going to do is uh, we have our footage right here. Um, so this is from Clones Episode One. It's uh, perfect to use, you know. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and c we're gonna create a new solid. We're gonna make this a uh, sort of light, kind of a yellow solid right here. Should do it. We're gonna name this Flash and make comp size and OK it. And we're gonna go ahead and turn off the eye for this layer. That way we don't see anything. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the tip of the gun we're gonna take the pen tool make sure we have a layer selected and we're just gonna start drawing like a, a simple kind of a just muzzle flash just like quickly drawn try to be a little bit realistic and you know just uh, just tweak it as you want just move the points and uh, you know, however you want to make it look, uh, however you want to make it, however you want to make it look, so, uh, alright, now we can go ahead and turn the eye for that layer back on. So, uh, that is one frame of the muzzle flash. We can go ahead and make this just one frame long, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, now for this, we're actually going to give it a little bit more kind of a depth and a little bit more kind of detail. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to our effects and presets panel and we're going to type in liquify. And we're going to go ahead and drop it onto our flash layer. And uh, we're going to go to the tools and change some of the settings so uh, we can uh, go ahead and uh, edit this flash. So uh, you know, this is a liquify tool. It's a pretty cool tool to use, you know. Hold down control and move your mouse button um, left to right, top to bottom, you know, and you can uh, change the size of the brush and then, of course, the brush pressure. And what you pretty much want to do is uh, you can turn off this so that way you don't see the, uh, the mask. And you can just go ahead and uh, kind of uh, tweak the outside of the f muzzle flash as however you wait however way you want and you can go ahead and uh just give this kind of a rough edge to start off with just give it a little bit of a some character into it just add a little detail just make it look pretty pretty cool and uh right now it's pretty squiggly but we're just gonna you know just keep changing stuff make it look better you know just uh just do it do what you see fit. So right now I'm uh, just editing out everything and just uh, making it look like it's a muzzle flash. You know, kind of extend these edges. Just try and keep it nice and uh, nice and cool. There can be parts with those uh, feathering, like you can see from these tips here. That even makes it look even a little bit more cool and uh, maybe change the size kind of a uh, you know just edit edit the mask any way you want and we're just gonna continue and just give this a cool look and once you're done with that um, we have a pretty nice looking muzzle flash, but of course it's only a hard edged mask. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to the flash layer. We're gonna go and we're gonna go to the mask. We're gonna duplicate the mask and we're gonna select the layer and hit F. That way it brings up the feathering options. The first mask we're gonna give this a feather of one, and the second mask we're gonna give this a uh, maybe a feather of forty. Forty might work. And actually, let's bring up the mask for, uh, for the first mask, and that gives it a, a cooler kind of look. And, uh, you know, 
There's a there's a cool muzzle flash effect right there, all by itself. But of course we can change the transfer mode to additive, and we got a little bit more right there. And of course we can go back into the effect panel, go to stylize, give it a glow, and just turn up the radius. That also gives it a cool look. Now we can go ahead and turn that off, and we're gonna give this some lighting for the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the footage, we're gonna duplicate it, Control D, or go to Edit Duplicate, and um, again set it for this frame only. So we're just gonna go ahead and collapse it on that layer. By the way, Alt Right bra Right Bracket um, ends the layer. So we're gonna go and we're gonna set this to an add mode and we're gonna turn off the eye and we're gonna go to the areas where the lighting should happen if this were a real muzzle flash. So, so it would be on my face right here. Um, maybe a little bit on my hands. Try and follow it as nice as you can. Just keep it a, keep a good mask try and make it look as cool as possible and maybe a little bit even on the shirt on the arm anything that'll make this look a little bit more realistic and maybe th this pillow right here and the back maybe down here some and we could go ahead and turn the eye back on and that's pretty much uh... the areas that we're going to use to highlight so we're going to go into the footage and we're going to change the feathering for each one of these masks so again you can turn off this little switch right here and you can tell what you're feathering and what you're not you know just tweak it however you want just to make it look like it's a it's a bright surface and that there's really like some interactive lighting going on in this scene even though there's not you know, anything that'll make it look that much more realistic, just go ahead and uh, aim for it. And maybe we can mess around with the, uh, the transfer mode. Maybe if we set it to classic color dodge or color dodge. No, that's uh, maybe we can set it to screen. But for now, we'll just leave it at add, and we'll turn on the flash again. And if we look through, we got a nice looking uh, muzzle flash. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, my name is David Zekthi, and for Lightning Fire Productions, and we'll see you next time.